This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics in Green, Iowa, and today we're checking out another 1965 Mustang Coupe. Beautiful little car, it looks great with the Craggers on it. Still exhaust sounds nice too. I love the poppy red paint, a good running 289 engine, power disc brakes, and really not too bad under the hood for a driver. Oh, absolutely. I really do like that poppy red on a Mustang too. Just a beautiful color. Kind of looks orange in the right light. It's a really, really neat, neat factory color for a Mustang. And they did a good job on the jams. Um, if you look at the door jams here in a little bit, bottom side of the hood looks really good. You can tell that they uh, had all the fenders and doors and hood and stuff off when they painted it. Put it all back on the bolts, no overspray on the bolts and stuff like that. Top of the firewall looks good. Um, the only thing really as far as the engine compartment that's not what I'd call like show quality is just the engine itself. You can tell that it uh, hasn't been painted and detailed up like it should be. So. Yeah, shock towers and everything else look great. Yeah, very solid. As you go through here, you can see the factory VIN number there. I've never had any rust or any problems or patches on either of the top of the fenders that I can see anywhere there. Um, still has the heater all hooked up. It's got the uh, fan back there. And again, power disc brakes is awful nice on these uh, Mustangs as well. Um, one other thing I want to notice, a lot of the little Mustangs for some reason, especially if you have them in parades and stuff, they just have a tendency to heat up. This one's got the shroud and it has the uh, six blade fan, nice. which is really moving that air to through that radiator. It's gonna help keep that thing cool. I like the, the hood scoop, like the Shelby hood scoop on there. That's a great looking car. I mean, from bumper to bumper. The front horse and corral's in great shape. The bumpers are nice on the car. This is what I would classify as a local car show quality cruise night car, uh, just sharp. I mean, like you said, the wheels, the Krager SS's, the BFG's really set this car off. It's got the, the chrome de uh, decor package with the wheel well trim, the rocker molding, and a great stance. I mean, yeah, it, it does, it really sits nice. It's nice. got a nice, nice rake to it where it sits a little lower in the front than the back. Just makes it look kind of aggressive, along with the, the hood scoop. What a perfect fall day here today. I'm excited to drive a couple of these cars, do a couple of videos, couldn't ask for better weather. Yeah, we've had about 30 mile an hour wind and about 25, 30, mile, uh, 30 degree temperature here. So um, this morning when we got up, it was 30 degrees and now it's like 70. So like you said, that's where your excitement comes from on today, huh, D? Jason did a great job polishing these Krager SS's up. They look pretty much new. 215, 65, 15s in the front. Rock solid lower fender. Bottom of the door lines up great here to the front of the fender and also in the back. Tucks in there very nicely to the back quarter panel. I'm right on this, uh, this lip here. Um, this is a seam sealed lip that goes here from the factory and then it's a paintable seam sealer. And you can just see where the seam sealer is just chipping off right here. It's not rust through, there's no bubbles, nothing like that. That's just that seam sealer. As we look at the top of the hood and top of the roof, all that's nice and straight. Down in through the lead line looks good until we get right here. Um, you can see just some little, something in the paint right here on that lead line right down there. For a Mustang too, going around this thing, this thing lines up excellent. When you look at the trunk lid, we always point this out on a Mustang. You know, fits really flush right there. Usually, you know, you'll have some some fitment issues um, with the with the trunk. Yeah, definitely. We have a little chip here, a couple of chips on this back uh, tail light uh, quarter extension. Back bumper is clean. Back balance looks good. Dual exhaust comes out the back really nicely. Behind the rear wheel is excellent. We don't have any bubbles, blisters, nothing like that in that quarter panel. Um, all in all, I'm very impressed with this one. Doors open and close really good. And as I mentioned before, when we were underneath the hood, 
check out the jams. I mean, especially on a little cheaper Mustang, a lot of times they just do a real half-ass job painting the door jams. You can tell the striker was removed and replaced. Um, all the rubbers here are new. Paint's nice and clean in the jam. Seat covers look like they've been replaced. As we go in here, even the uh, dome light striker's all clean. Bottom inside corner of the door is rust free and excellent. To me, around the edges on a car really tell the tale of how this car was taken care of and or restored. It's a great point. Dash pad's in great shape from front to back, side to side. Steering wheel has been replaced, I'm guessing. I don't see any cracks in it. Horn works like it should. AM, FM, cassette, radio. The brake pedals, even the restoration, if you look, the brake pedals down here, they were painted. Um, and the pads were replaced. I mean, so many people don't do that kind of stuff. Kick mm -hmm. panels, they were replaced. Carpet. Um, one thing that's kind of crazy to me is everything's super clean in here, but it's got like, I'm going to say damn near original faded carpet. Mm -hmm. um, we did shampoo it and dye it a little bit, but I think the restorer kept the original carpet in here. It really don't look bad, honestly. No, it doesn't. I but wouldn't have noticed. Usually that's the first thing someone changes. Um, the rest of the car looks really good. The visors are both nice and tight. Headliner's in excellent shape. No mouse damage ever in there. Back door panels are really clean. Uh, it's got six by nines in the back. Looks like Pioneer. Back seat's nice and soft and pliable yet, and so is the, uh, the seats in the front. Inside here, looks like we got... Uh, Couple parts, inside of the glove box is a really nice shape. Um, one thing that is original in the car is uh, the window felts here. And you can see that's kind of worn a little bit on the outside, but in here it's nice and clean. This car is probably not gonna last very long, Dalton. We priced this one kind of aggressively, and especially as a poppy red little Mustang coupe that looks like this. Probably gonna sell pretty quick. Yeah, I would think so. The car looks stout. Um, here's probably the major flaws on the entire car and it's on the driver's side here. Um, we got a few of them. There's three little scratches right here and one more right there on the quarter panel. Really thin and it's just in the paint, but it's right there. Other than that, no issues around the quarters. Awesome. Come in here, down in this area down here, rust free. Little paint chip here, but the door fits nice. A couple more little, tiny little chips. And there's some little bubbles right in the very, very front of this door. It's the only bubbles I've seen on the entire car. There's like five of them, real small right there. But the bottom of the door fits nice and flush right down there to the bottom of the fender. Top of the fender lines up nice to the door. Back of the hood. Windows go up and down really nice, at least that one did. Yeah, and it looks like they did put a brand new roof rail rubbers. That's all soft and pliable, and the quarter window rubbers are new. I mean, when you hit that door handle, I mean, you don't even hear it unlock hardly. It's just tight and clean, isn't it? Yeah, just the little things on this car were done really well. Um, here's your original color. It was a Wimbledon white car from the factory. I'm glad they chose to do a color change, and when they did a color change, I can't see anywhere on it that shows white. Have you yet, D? No, I haven't. So they did an immaculate job on this paint job when they did it years ago. That corner of the door is rust free and excellent. Uh, door panels, inner door paint has been redone, but you can just tell right here, just from the sun, it's just got some little bit of a chipping right on top. Look at that, guys. Now there were some bubbles on this outside of this door. Um, I want to point this out just a little bit, but look at the corner is perfect and rust free, so it ain't like it's full of body filler there. Very solid on the inside. Jams are awesome. All the windows go up like that, D? Yep. For a coupe, too, it's really pretty roomy. I, I drove it today, even, and normally these Mustang coupes. <laughs> You know, it's hard to get my big ass in there, but <laughs> this one, I had plenty of room, drove look it at, comfortably, I loved it. And even, look at all your legroom, man. Yeah, they must have moved these seats back a little bit they or something. They did, so hey, yeah, even me here. So, a lot of, lot of legroom. 
you can move, still move them way up if you're shorter. And I think they probably moved them back a couple inches. Yep, that's perfect. How about the way this starts too? You know, it was kind of cold out this morning and, and it was outside here and we fired it right up. We didn't have to pump the foot feet. No, it was perfect. Your window needs to go up a little more, I think. There yep. you go. Simple. Um, the steering wheel and the horn ring, everything it looks like it's looks like it's new. I mean, the chrome on this is immaculate. Temp gauge works. We've had it running here for just a little bit. The temp gauge is just starting to come up. Gas gauge works. 46,395 miles on the odometer. Heater fan works on all three speeds. Radio works great. This car is what I call, and we mentioned this before, the way we open and shut the door, but a lot of times I say kind of the Midas touch. Something that somebody's driven and found out the little quirks with it, and they fixed it over time. You yep. know what I mean? Yep, those are the, the best kind of cars, you know? Something that was held by a private individual for quite some time, and they really took care of it and kept, kept up on the maintenance. Um, Nothing's trouble free in a classic car, Correct. you know, but we like to say this is about as close as you're going to get probably. Um, wipers work great. Rear view mirror does have a little play in it upside down or you know, up and down, but I think overall it's going to stay right where it needs to be there. Goes into drive really nicely. Again, on these, we want to put it in that second little, uh, second little dot, which is called the green dot. What Mustang did back in 1965 and 66, um, is that makes it start from, it's kind of a, during the economy year. thing. It makes it yeah. start in first. If you just put it in the normal drive for economy to save a little you know, fuel mileage and, and a little money, it starts out in second. This doesn't give you the power that it. And yeah. also for winter driving, um, they did that. So that way, if you're driving in the winter on icy roads, you can start out in second gear with a little lower torque, you know, to keep your wheels from spinning. I was that's doing some, some research on that. Yeah. I was going to say, dude, yeah. that's some good coming knowledge. At, coming at you with facts. I know, I like that. I'm not used to that. Kind of at first, it kind of felt like you're kind of calling me out a little bit. But no, it was, I, it was, it was good both things. Yeah, it was, it was good economy and also, you know, for uh, winter driving. So. Thank you. Thanks for clarifying just, that to just the customer. Just add to your definition. All right. So look at that power disc brakes and that pedal is awesome. I mean, you can just feel it right here. You got nice, nice release there. Just want to point out, you did go home and, and trimmed your goatee a little bit and shaved. Yep. Yep, just made yourself video, a little yeah. more presentable. A little more presentable for the video today. All right. I'm getting my best self. Our customers should be honored. Yep. All right, let's see what this thing's got. Speedometer works awesome. I'll tell you what, it really drives nice, don't it? Yeah, it does. Kickdown works. So I'm just happy out. I, I mean, my knees aren't hitting the dash. I'm just super comfortable in here. It's perfect. I love these little Mustangs. They're never. A lot of them I can't, you know, drive comfortably. Yeah, I can drive about, them, but they're not real comfortable. Exactly. How about the wind noise, too, Dalton? The windows all went up. Um, it's very, very quiet in here. They all seal up nice to that new roof uh, rubber. It's got some power. Yeah, it does. We're gonna honk at this person so this little smart car don't come out and hit us. Um, 75 mile an hour. I mean, this is a Mustang. These things weren't meant for freaking 80 mile an hour very much, right? But we're doing it, and we're doing it with ease. The steering goes perfect. The steering goes perfectly straight. Goes nice down the road. No stupid vibrations. No goofy noises. We're gonna punch it down. It's ready to roll. 80 mile an hour. It's a really quality car. Very good car. Better than I thought. Check it out on the website coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the comment section of this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.